Oh, hey, babe. It's so great to see you. Seriously, you don't know how much of a relief it is to finally interact with a good person. I've been dealing with assholes and sinners all day. I mean, I know it's sort of what we do, but it just gets grating, you know what I mean? Obviously I had a bad day! Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, sh I shouldn't have yelled that. Uh, I did have a bad day at work. Thank you. Now scoot over, I want cuddles. <sighs> That's better. Being in your arms makes me feel warmer than the fires of hell ever could. I mean, I know I'm in usually one of the few air-conditioned sections since I only work there. But I think the metaphor still stands. <sighs> hey, do you mind if I vent for a minute? There was this guy today who just refused to believe that he belonged down there. He kept insisting. Send me up, send me up. I've got family waiting for me in heaven. Little did he know his family was also in hell. But that didn't stop him from raising a fuss, throwing papers everywhere, and demanding to speak to the Big D himself. Let me tell you, the big guy was not happy. But hey, a bit of karmic justice for that guy. For being so unruly, his punishment was doubled. So that story has a happy ending, but it was still incredibly stressful. But that just kind of describes my whole day. Stressful. I can't put into words how sick, sick I am of saying the phrase, And, and what, what are your sins? sins? And if someone makes another work as hell joke, I swear I'm gonna stab them with a pitchfork. I know I'm not a qualified torturer, but something tells me the boss would let that one slide. Sorry, babe, I've been going on and on about my day. How was yours? Not too stressful, I hope. better now that I'm here. Aw, oh, babe, stop being awesome. You're gonna make me cry. How did I get lucky enough to have you in my life? I'm honestly pretty fortunate. The one and only person I've ever met on Earth who <laughs> wasn't immediately scared of me due to the horns and the red skin. And they're not only my partner, but also the sweetest, most loving person I've ever met. You know, I don't think I've ever told you this, but you've single-handedly restored my faith in humanity. Mm-hmm. Of course it's true. Every day at work, I'm subjected to the most absolute bottom of the barrel scum of the earth people who give humanity a bad name and sometimes when i'm doing the paperwork for the 58th puppy murderer that day i lose sight of the positives the friendly people the ones who want to work to make the world a better place who would give you the shirt off their back if it meant you were even a little bit happier People like you. That's why, when I come home, I usually cheer up so quickly. Even if I've had a terrible day. Because the contrast between them, the people being checked into hell, 
And you, a sweet, innocent, wonderful person with a heart of gold, is too big to ignore. And you're the one person who can always cheer me up when I'm feeling depressed. <sighs> Oh, by the way, I've been meaning to tell you. I've been talking with the boss and, well, he's offered you a chance to become a demon after death. The only caveat would be that you'd have to start working in hell like me. But you know what? Being a secretary down there isn't actually all that bad. If you can get past the torrent of depressing people, they have great dental too. Like, surprisingly good, actually. Plus, you'll get to live forever with me. We can be a demon couple. Uh, but I, I understand if you need some time to think about it. It is a very sudden offer for an incredibly big decision. I realize that. But hey, you've got at least 80 more years to decide. Even more if I can persuade the big guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. I've been on all day. And you know how people just sap me of all my energy. I just want to lay here with you as my pillow. All night. Binge a show on Hulu, then eat a large pizza and fall asleep. And I guess I'll let you have some of the pizza too. <laughs> Speaking of which... You want to order that now? I'm starving. You should know my toppings by now. You should know my toppings by now. Oh, and let's get wings this time. Yeah, I want like three dozen chicken wings. No, my eyes are not bigger than my stomach. I know I say that every time, and every time I always end up eating less than half of what I get. But this time I really mean it. And I know I say that every time, too, but hey, me not eating very much just means more leftovers. And I know you love having pizza for breakfast. I've seen you do it too many times not to piece that one together. So yeah, two large pizzas and three orders of ten chicken wings. Stat! Code Black! Thanks, babe. You're the best. <sighs> no. Do you mind if I just nap on you for a little bit? Just until the pizza gets here. You can wake me up once the pizza guy shows up. Oh, you're the sweetest. Ooh. If you keep running your hand through my hair like that, there's no way I'm not going to fall asleep. You know how relaxing that is for me. Especially when you graze my horns like that. <laughs> I will let your cooing of my purring slide whilst I am food deprived. Me being one of few demons who purrs seems to really butter your toast. But I'm, I'm glad I can make you happy. You're a wonderful babe. You deserve all the happiness in the world. I love you so much. Mm-hmm.